Hey there YouTube, it's Firewarn, and today I'm coming at you with another beer review, this time of Samuel Adams' Dark Depths, which they have labeled a Baltic IPA. It clocks in at 7.6% alcohol by volume, and this is the uh, one pint, six fluid ounces uh, container bottle here, I guess. And I, I'm not sure if it comes in any other size or if it's available like commercially in other, any other size, but this is the only size I've seen it in. Um, quite a big beer. And this one cost me $5.99, about 6 bucks. I saw it down at the store and decided to splurge. I don't like to spend too much money on beer, but every now and then I'll see a problem with trying something new. I'm a little curious, I mean, I've never had this before, which normally I don't do reviews unless I've had uh, the beer or the energy drink or whatever it might be that I'm reviewing before. But because this is so expensive, I decided just to go ahead and grab it and give you kind of my first impressions of it. And even with a very gentle pour, it has quite a quite a large head and it's extremely dark. I guess that's why they call it dark dark depths. But I mean that's I would say easily two fingers, maybe a little bit more. And that was with a very very gentle pour. And it, it's kind of interesting. I mean, like I said, and I'm actually normally I don't do this, but I'm actually going to pull out my phone to use as a flashlight to kind of show you just how dark this is and see if we can oops see if we can see through it. Yeah, and you can barely see those LEDs and and my my phone is actually rather quite bright as you can see. You can barely see those LEDs coming through as a deep deep red color. So this beer is very very dark. And the, the head retention is beautiful. I mean, even, even as I'm talking here, you can see it really hasn't gone down almost at all. You can taste or, or smell the, the, the hoppy notes in this, but the thing that makes this interesting is it says that it's based on a recipe for a porter. And that porter, the, the stout slash porter notes are really coming through with this kind of coffee slash toffee, really, really deep, deep notes that are that are more traditionally uh, attributed to like porters and porters and stouts. But I'm I'm gonna go ahead and and stop rambling and just try this thing for the first time. I was a little worried about this, but now that I've tasted it, I think I'm, I'm gonna save it so that way someone else can, one of my friends can try it because this is very, very good. You can definitely, definitely taste the hops, that first little bit of bitterness it is there on the first taste, but it quickly develops into a a porter porter slash stout. Not not deep into the the malt of a stout, which I guess is why it's a porter recipe. But the quake the the quake the taste quickly develops into this sort of toffee orange peel type of type of taste that you really smell um, in the aroma of the head which it, I, I'm having a difficult time describing this honestly because it's very complex and it, I've never had anything that crosses boundaries quite like dark dark depths is, is crossing boundaries right now Also has kind of like a maple syrupy flavor to it. This is a this is a beer that, that you want to try. If you like malt, 
I would actually steer you steer you to this more so than if you like hops. Um, this is not a very hoppy IPA. It, it's not bitter. Um, it doesn't label the the uh, IBUs, the international bittering units, on the bottle, but I would guess that the, that number would be a little bit low, maybe somewhere around like 40 to 50 at the highest. That would be my guess. But definitely a beer to try out if you can. Uh, it's worth the money. Absolutely worth the money. Um, but besides that, guys, I will see you next time. Hope you enjoy the review. Let me know if you've had Dark Depths. I would love to talk to you about it. And I will see you next time.